Get your cash ban submissions in today. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, I'm Florian Heiser and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I've got my Stein of coffee here and I thought we would have a look at the process for submitting to the Senate for the cash ban. Now, I've got my submission here and we'll go through that in a moment. But first, for those of you who are not aware, there, the Australian government is looking to implement a restriction on the use of cash bill. Essentially, it will mean that transactions $10,000 and above between an individual and a business or business to business must be conducted using the electronic banking system and not through cash. Otherwise, you could be, you, you're considered a criminal. Now, they propose to do this. They want to do it to address the black economy. You know, all of the dodgy tax cheats and the criminals that are just funneling money around in $10,000 chunks. Yesterday, we looked at some submissions to Treasury's draft proposal, where over 3,000, I think 3,500 people over made submissions and various organizations. I did a video where we looked at those submissions that have now just been released two days before the time frame ends for submissions to the Senate Standing Committee. But... I mean, you know, fundamentally, of all the ones we looked at, I only looked at about four submissions, only one of them, and that was New South Wales Farmers, made a comment that it was an infringement on civil liberties. Everyone else was happy for it to be in place, but just wanted an exemption for their organization, for the dentists, for the builders, for this. Yes, put your rules on everyone else, but not me. I'm special. Doesn't that worry you? Because it bloody well worries me. So I would like to encourage you all to take the time today to make a submission. And I mean, here's the website and I will link to it below in the pinned comment where you can either email them or upload a submission. When you upload a submission, you need to put your address and your details in there. But I mean, come on, guys, that's not something I'm really worried about. Uh, and uh, you can either email it directly to them if you're worried about entering that information. I would suggest everyone puts a submission in. Now, don't be intimidated when you see the quality of other people's submissions or organization submissions. Don't think, oh, well, you know, John Adams has put one in or Martin North has put one in or the Australian Dental Association has put a huge one in. Or all these lawyers, they'll take care of it for me. In some regards, it's also to do with just the numerical the number of people that flood the Senate Standing Committee with submissions. So these senators are made aware that this is an issue, that people are concerned about this. Fundamentally, I believe this is just another civil liberty that is being chipped away from us. I rarely use cash, okay? I rarely use cash. It is a rare thing that I use. I mean, most people would just tap. It's convenient for businesses, small businesses. It's great at having all of just the information there and your bookkeeping, copy, paste, done. Tax is done, really easy. I can't see how this is going to actually limit, you know, dodgy transactions. I see it as a tax grab, as a trying to get every single penny of tax out of people. Rather than the government wasting resources on chasing stuff like this, perhaps they should look at ways they could save money. What could they cut, you know, to hopefully stimulate some economic activity? And that's just, just my bias that's coming through there. But really, I'd encourage everyone to make a submission. And we'll go through mine now. And it's, it is by no means nothing special at all. And it's very similar to the one I made before, simply because I want to ensure I get it in. So submissions to the Senate Standing Committees on Economics regarding the currency restrictions on the use of cash bill 2019. Dear manager, I, Florian David Heiser, in my capacity as a private citizen of Australia, have prepared this submission in response to the draft legislation entitled Currency Restrictions on the Use of Cash Bill, uploaded for exposure on the 26th of July 2019 on the Australian Government Treasury website, accessible via the following address. And I put that here because, I mean, that is the information that I am responding to. Having reviewed the information provided, I am concerned that the potential unintended negative implications of this legislation far outweigh any potential benefits it may provide. Specifically, my primary concerns are as follows. And number one, restricting our ability to make a purchase 
from businesses using $10,000 cash is a fundamental restriction on our liberty and freedom to conduct business. I mean, that that's really what I'm concerned with. It's just the right to be able to do it. They're taking away a right. Think about that, guys. How many rights have we lost in Australia? How many licenses do you need? To go fishing, I need a license. Do, do every bloody thing you need permission. It's a right that's taken away. Do you want to control people's ability to spend $10,000 cash, even if you never do? Forcing people into the digital banking system and depreciating the use of cash removes the safeguard money provides as a counterbalance to experimental monetary policy, in particular, extremely negative interest rates. Now, this is this is one the Treasury submission to the Senate, to the House, pretty much dismissed as a conspiratory theory. Well, I would not. I would. I would argue that this is not being implemented for this directly, specifically, at least I hope not. I would argue that it removes a safeguard, a counterbalance, and it is an experimental monetary policy. We are seeing it happen in Europe and other countries around the world, and the IMF is looking at ways to frankly remove the safeguard of money by having two currencies and have a digital dollar and a physical dollar and having the potential for an exchange between those. So even if you have your physical money, it can depreciate in value. So it's not, it is not the best safeguard you can have, unfortunately, but still it is a safeguard. Number three, implementation of this legislation will add an additional burden and stress to the most draft, oh sorry, to the most vulnerable and elderly of our community. Most draft vulnerable. Made an error there, I wasn't math. Not the first one considering the numbers I've looked at. Uh, so yes, it will. It will be an additional burden and additional stress for elderly Australians. We saw the Australian Dental Association raise that issue in their submission to Treasury yesterday, where they've got elderly people who are keeping their teeth and they're getting quite expensive dental procedures, and some of them will pay that in cash over time. Now, if that total transaction, say paying a thousand bucks a month for 12 months, if that's over $10,000, that's considered as one instance, which is above the $10,000 limit. And that's why they wanted an exemption from this. Would, see, that's another thing. If you get some organizations that have exemptions and some that don't, that's another level of complexity that we don't need. It's just more government. More government. Four, the release of this draft legislation for comment Friday the 26th of July was a short review period. Uh, sorry, with a short review period is not sufficient given the significant and far-reaching implications this legislation can have for generations to come. Yes, I don't think there was enough time allowed for submissions from the public and the general population. So thank you for my consider uh, for considering my submission and please do not hesitate to contact me should you require any additional information. Florian Heiser, architect and director. So there you go, guys. There you go. And I will link to this website here where you can make a submission. Now you've got until tomorrow to make a submission. And here it is on September 19th, 2019, the Senate referred the provisions of the currency restrictions on the use of cash bill 2019 provisions to the Economic Legislation Committee for inquiry and report by the 7th of February, 2020. The committee has been tasked by the Senate to inquire and report on provisions of the currency restrictions on the use of cash bill 2019 as such this inquiry is not directed by terms of reference. Furthermore, information about the cash bill can be found in the explanatory memorandum and the minister's second reading speech. So guys, please take the time, prepare a submission. Doesn't need to be perfect. You know, it needs to be in the very least. If we can flood them with thousands of submissions from normal people they can be made aware that this is an issue. Also reach out to your senators and contact them individually, but definitely make a submission to this standing committee so they can go, well, we've had 10,000 submissions, 20,000 submissions. It doesn't take you long to write an email. It doesn't take you long to write a letter. Guys, thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have made your submission or if you plan to. 
And if you enjoy my content and want to help me produce more, I have a Patreon and a subscribe style where you can make a monthly donation. I also have Amazon and eBay affiliate links where I receive a small kickback that doesn't cost you a cent when you make a purchase. And finally, I have PayPal and Ethereum wallets if you want to make a donation like that. Appreciate all the help you give me. It uh, really makes it easier to do this. Take care, guys, and I'll see you later today. Bye for now.